uh, I'm curious of your reaction to a tweet that the president sent uh, Friday night. The fake news media, failing New York Times, NBC News, ABC, CBS, CNN is not my enemy. It is the enemy of the American people. You believe the press is the enemy? Do you believe any group of Americans are the enemy of another group of Americans? I was talking about the period, as you know, of the New World Order. A fundamental part of that New World Order was a free press. I hate the press. I hate you, especially. <laughs> but the fact is, I, we need you. We need a free press. We must have it. It's vital. If you want to preserve, I'm very serious now, if you want to f preserve democracy as we know it, you have to have a free and many times adversarial press. And uh, without it, I'm afraid that we would lose so much of our individual liberties over time. That's how dictators get started. That's, a, that's how dictators get started with tweets like that? With No, they get started by suppressing a free press. In other words, uh, in consolidation of power, when you look at history, the first thing that dictators do is shut down the press. And I'm not saying that, that's, that, uh, that President Trump is trying to be a dictator. I'm just saying we need to learn the lessons of history. Senator McCain, I'm going to leave it there. Uh, you are a student of history, that's for sure. I always appreciate you sharing your views, no matter how much you hate me. That's all right. <laughs> Thanks, Chuck. Senator McCain, thank you.